Gentlemen, what's happening? My name is Nate. Welcome to Paragon Fragrances. I have 10 clones here of popular fragrances that are awesome to wear. Some of them actually perform better than the originals. Usually if you're looking for a clone, you're looking either for price value or you're looking for better performance. Some of these actually get you both. The first one on this list doesn't give you the performance, but it does give you the price. That's Riviera by English Laundry. So this is a take on the original Loam by Yves Saint Laurent. This is that ginger, that freshness, woody, citrusy, aromatic, fresh, spicy, cedar, bergamot, lemon, lime, lavender, some woody aspects in here. There's some cedar wood in here. It's just very pleasant when it comes to like, being really sexy in that basic approach. I bought this thing for 12 bucks at Burlington. I got the presentation and everything, the box and all. Um, you can't go wrong with that. It's a great gym scent, if anything. Throw it on, smell fresh and clean. It's just beautiful, beautifully done. Next one is a bit more mysterious, darker. Mustache Eau de Parfum. This one is a take on Yves Saint Laurent's tuxedo, from what people have told me. But the majority of people agree that this is very close. And if Yves Saint Laurent tuxedo smells any better than this, I should be buying a bottle. It has this patchouli character. It's very classy, very elegant. There's woods in here, spices. The only downside with this one is uh, a lot of people have performance issues with it. So if you're looking for like a powerhouse of a fragrance, maybe skip out on this one, but it is very classy, very elegant, and it does do the trick. Next one is very aquatic. It does that just beautiful citrus. You can wear this in the summertime. It's beautiful in the summer. Missoni Wave. This thing is beautiful. It's aromatic, it's citrus. It's like a marine kind of smell. There's some mandarin citruses in here. There's lavender, clary sage, vetiver, and patchouli. It's a definitely a sweet dry down, so you get a really nice sweet dry down, but it's like a sweet wood, but the sweetness is like citrus sweetness. It's not like fruity sweetness. It's aquatic throughout the life of the fragrance, and then in the dry down, it's more woody sweet. It's definitely sexy in the summertime. Our moth has a lot to offer when it comes to clones. If you're looking for a clone, look at our moth. I have another our moth later in the video. It's a very good fragrance as well, but this one is Club de Nuit Intense Man. This is Creed Aventus on a budget. This one is like sexy smoke citruses, pineapple. It's got that lemon vibe in the top. A lot of people have this like lemon pledge kind of feel in the opening. Club de Nuit Intense Man Parfum rounds that out a little bit better and it actually brings in some pineapple in there. So if you're looking for a Creed Aventus cologne, look at this one. This one is a cheap alternative, but if you're looking for a smoother kind of blend, maybe go with the Parfum. But this thing performs like a beast. I get 10 hours plus on this thing. It's just insane performance. Very good performance too. It's nothing like it dies off around the seven hour mark. This thing performs throughout the life of the fragrance and it's just sexy from the beginning all the way to the end. It, it's just beautiful. Next one is like $30 at TJ Maxx. If you can find it, it's such a good scent. Abercrombie and Fitch, First Instinct together. This one is a take on YSLY Eau de Parfum. This one has a little bit more powdery nature to it. It's a little bit more citrusy and a little bit lighter than the Y Eau de Parfum is. This one has a lot more versatility, I find, in the summertime. It's very citrusy, but you still have those woods and that just sweetness carrying it through the life of the fragrance. This thing works wonders in the summertime, like the Missoni Wave. This thing has just great performance. It smells great. I wear this to the gym a lot because it's just a very fresh and go kind of fragrance. I love wearing this thing. It's so fresh and it's like $30. So Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum is $140 right now. And it's prices are just going up and up and up. You guys also got to remember that people are not smelling you up close like this. They're smelling you from a distance. So people will most likely assume that you're wearing a Y Eau de Parfum, but no one really knows what that means. So you're gonna just smell fresh and clean to them and not offensive. A recent addition to my collection is a Latafa and that's Latafa Azaji. And this one is a take on La Nuit de Lome by Yves Saint Laurent. I have such pleasure wearing this thing, man. It's it's like La Nuit de Lome cranked up to 11 and it's like very citrusy. So this one is tough because it does smell like La Nuit de Lome, but it's cranked up to like absolute 11. It's like a fresher, more powerful Lana Wee de Lome. And 
I don't think that's Lana Wee Delome. Lana Wee Delome is a soft, smooth, elegant fragrance. This one is like a loud powerhouse, same scent profile. Lana Wee Delome Elixir, pretty much. I love wearing this thing, actually. I got a compliment the first day I wore it, which is always a plus if you're, you know, testing fragrances. Now, a sexy Leighton clone that I recently just picked up, wearing it a few days now, and it just, man, it smells so good. That's Lalique white and black. I've been waiting to pick this one up for a very long time because it gets heavily hyped by everyone in the fragrance community and I guess I'm hyping it right now, but but the hype is justified. It is sexy. It's got that latent vibe, but it's this one is a little bit more warm spicy. It's a little bit more sophisticated when it comes to its spicy characters. Layton has this like sweet, powerful apple note in there. This one doesn't have too much of that sweetness at the top. It definitely has some sweetness in here, don't get me wrong, but it definitely has a lot more spicy nuances to it. And it's got some great bergamot up top, grapefruit, lavender, cardamom, vanilla, There's some cedar and some patchouli in the base here. So it's very well blended into that dry down. It's just magnificent. I really love the smell. I'm planning on wearing this a lot. Another one from Armoff is Milestone. So Fragrance Apprentice, I watch him a lot. His favorite fragrance is Milosim Imperial, and he did a review. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Link is in the description. But he did a review of this one, and that's all you gotta really watch if you're interested in this one, because it is, it's a, such a good review. This one is Milosim Imperial, as it should be made from Creed. Creed has this performance issue throughout all their fragrances, it seems like. And that's the one reason I don't own a Creed fragrance is because of the performance issues that I've seen across the board. Milestone is a take on Milosim Imperial, and it's that watermelon kind of sea salty marine kind of smell. And it's just so seductive. This thing is so good. I got a compliment. I don't know if it's a compliment, but my co-worker said I smelled like a stripper when I wore this. Next one, Alexandria Fragrances Zion. This is a take on Elysium by Raja Parfums, and this one is just so pleasant, so sexy, so citrusy. It's just pleasant. The bottles are great. Planning on ordering a few more from Alexandria Fragrances. They are one of my favorite clone houses on the planet. Their bottle, their presentation, their just customer service, it just, their scents are just great. And just, it's overall just satisfaction in a bottle. It's like, it's like if you take Dior Sauvage, mix it with Blue de Chanel, and then add a little bit of Dylan Blue in there. It's the holy grail when it comes to just that blue, mass-pleasing citrus scent. It's just so good. There's a lot of musks in the base, so it's, it's definitely a pleasant signature scent. Next one on this list, Latafa Assad. This one I recently just picked up this past week, and this one is just, man, the sophistication behind this one. It's vanilla, it's spicy, it's sexy. It's very well known to be a Dior Sauvage Elixir clone. And that one just hit the market too, so this one is like right up on there. I can't believe they actually did this. This one doesn't have the performance that Sauvage Elixir has. Sauvage Elixir is a beast. If you want the beast, just go and buy the beast. But this one has elegance to it, spiciness. It has that sexy nature about it. Honestly, I don't think anybody would tell the difference if you wore this instead of Sauvage Elixir. And the plus side, this one was $22. So that's insane. For the fragrance that you're buying for $22 versus what it's compared to, it's compared to a $200 fragrance. So it's amazing, it's it's phenomenal. It's really pleasant and it's actually really growing on me. That's all I got for today, guys. If you like fragrance-related content, hit the subscribe button. New videos coming out Monday and Friday. Take care, guys.